Hey, I'm just doing this short little video to talk about the differences between the Shimano HG style hub and the SRAM XD style hub because that's the one I've started using lately. So let's start out with the Shimano. If you notice on the Shimano, you got these little splines here that your cassette fits on. Okay. And if you look at the SRAM XD, it just has these notches back here, and it threads on here. Okay, now if you look at the cassettes, this is the SRAM. See, it has, it's a whole one-piece assembly. It's got the notches, and it has the thread back there, okay? If you look at the Shimano... It's individual pieces all put together. And these go on those splines. And then your lock nut holds them all in. So it's the same tool, by the way, in case you're wondering. Fits them both. Same lock nut tool. So the Shimano, this one here is, is about one and a quarter pound. Or 0. 0.565 kilogram. But the SRAM is only 0.88 pounds so it's i don't know 30 40 percent lighter but here's why i started doing it using these this first gear here is only a nine tooth okay so i have a nine to 46 uh, 11 speed okay whereas this one here starts at 11 and goes to 46 so the smallest tooth. Now I've heard there are 10 tooth Shimano's. I've never seen one, but for the regular HG hub. But what I really liked about it is with the nine tooth, it widens the range out a little bit. Sometimes with the 11 to 46, I was actually double shifting because the ratios were a little bit too close together. So it winds the range out a little bit. And where I ride, I was using a 36 tooth front sprocket so what i'm going to do now is drop to a 34 in the front so that'll give me more climbing of power even though i still have the same 46 in the back but i'll still also have a little more top speed because it's of the nine tooth 